Ladies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, please consider hitting the like button as well as leaving a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel grow. As I've been saying in the past few videos, please don't forget to go check out Frugal J's channel. She is going through a lot right now. She's working towards um, making some income through her YouTube channel. So if you could go over, give her video some watches, make sure you're letting the ads run through, even clicking on those ads now and then, that is how YouTubers make their money here. And so if you can go over to her channel and do that, help her out. And there's also a GoFundMe for her. Um, her son was in a terrible accident. He's still in the hospital working towards recovery. So I am just helping, trying to help spread the word to give her some help. And if you don't feel comfortable doing any of those things, just keep her, keep her and her son in your thoughts and prayers so that, you know, he can make it to his recovery and get better and all those things. So I just wanted to say that. Now I'm going to get started because I have so many things. I went shopping. I had five Easter baskets I had a shop for. If you're new here or if you haven't seen kind of what's going on, I'm making 20 Easter baskets to donate to a local organization called the Rescue Denver Rescue Mission. I'm not financially paying for all the items. There is a company, it is actually my husband's boss who wanted to do this, make these 20 baskets to donate. And she reached out to me, asked me if I'd be willing to do all the shopping and put them together and take them, but she's buying all the items. So financially, the hit isn't on me for all 20 baskets, just the work of putting them together because she knows that I love to do that kind of thing because I do. So um, that is what I'm doing. I have gotten 15 of them pretty much done. There's a few items in here that to finish out some of those 15, and then I had to start from scratch for five. So this should be all the items for the last five as well as the remainder items for the 15 that I've done. I'm going to probably have to split this into two because there's so much stuff here. So there's going to be a part one and part two of the Easter basket stuff that I picked up. Some of it's going to be stuff that you've already seen because I am recreating. I'm doing another cars basket and um, it's just some of the things you've seen like Easter grass, Easter eggs, that kind of thing. So sorry, I'll show those ones real fast. Um, if you've watched those already, but let's get started because we're pretty far in. So first of all, I got some more Easter grass. I didn't think I had quite enough to start putting them together. If I have to run, I will to get more, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. I grabbed some more Easter eggs. I got this one. I'm doing a Lego themed basket or building blocks. I wish that they weren't just in like such pastel-y tones. I wish they came in the color tones. And I thought about it after the fact that they do in the party section. You don't get quite as many for your money in the party section, but I could have picked them up from there, and I, I didn't. I already grabbed these. So they're going to go in there and get candy in them. I picked up five more Easter bunnies because I'm doing either Peeps or Easter bunnies as one of the candies in each of the baskets, and then filling the eggs with candy. And then I picked up a few more bags of these just to make sure I have enough to put some in each of the baskets. They are the Peeps Lollipop Rings Marshmallow Flavored Lollipops. So I got those as well. I got two bags. One of the baskets I'm working on is going to be, I was doing another doll themed, but then I decided to kind of switch it up. So it's going to be doll house themed. So I'm not doing this in any particular order. You might see some of the pieces in this haul or in part two, because I'm just grabbing bags and sharing. But um, this, I'm going to do a dollhouse themed doll basket. So I grabbed the little dollhouse. Let's see, make sure that there's nothing else in here. No, just the candy. And then, like I had already said, I am doing a Lego slash building block themed basket. So I grabbed all of the base plates there. I got the blue, the gray, the green, and the brown to add in to the Lego block basket or building block basket, because I think all those are really neat. And then I grabbed, this will probably be for two different baskets. I'm doing another cars themed basket as well as the Lego basket. And so I just grabbed a few of these. They didn't have all the different ones because these do have these four different roads. 
And so I just grabbed what I could. I think there's even some more in one of the other bags. So I just grabbed what I could find just to make it work. And so I got those for the Lego themed and car themed basket. These are some of the baskets I grabbed for two of the more girly ones I'm doing, the dollhouse themed and I'm doing um, imaginary play kind of dress up theme. And so I grabbed those two baskets for that. And here I have a bunch of different Easter eggs. These ones are smaller. I've been trying to go for the bigger ones, but for the imaginary play ones, I'm doing like cooking utensils and stuff that I've already hauled all the stuff for. I thought that these would be perfect because they are like little cupcakes and like little like treats. And then uh, they can use these as like part of their playtime if they wanted to in that. So I decided I would grab that. I did two because I'm going to do it also in the other imaginary play one I'm doing, which is more dress up play. But I think that those will still be adorable in there. So I grabbed two of those. I've hauled these ones already. I like these ones a lot just to have the eggs because there's some of the baskets I've already put together. I was missing the eggs and then some. Yeah, I just needed more eggs. I got another set of the cars. You get six of them in here, all different colors. I got this set of Easter eggs. They are solid color on top and they have like little bunny feet on the bottom and a little bunny tail on the bottom. So those ones are really cute. These ones come with five in there. And let's see. I was working on like a tool set um, basket and I was struggling with that one. I had picked up a tape measure. Someone left in the comments down below that you probably shouldn't do that. A kiddo can get really hurt on that, which is very true. So I'm not putting that in there. So then I was debating, well, what else do I put in there? Because trying to find stuff was hard. But then I found these wood shop little sets and I bought some of these for my kids before and they had fun putting them together. And so I thought that that would be really cute because there's like all the tools, but then there's going to be these little wood shop kits that the kiddo can make. And so it's like they're really building something. This one is a fighter plane. It says it's for ages five and up. Um, you get the wood glue and then a bunch of different pieces. So you're supposed to glue it together with wood glue. So I thought that that one was really cute. They also had a helicopter. And so I grabbed that one also five and up. And a race car. There is at least one or two more, but they're in some other bags. I got them at two different stores. Also five and up. So that I'm adding to the tool set one. I have some of these Hot Wheels tracks. These are the curved tracks. And I'll just grab for this bag. I picked up more of these tracks too. So there's the curved. This one just says Hot Wheel tracks. So I think it's just two straightaways with the little connector pieces. And then this one is a loop. And so these little pieces connect to this and somehow make it a loop. So I'm gonna add in obviously the Hot Wheels tracks. There's a couple other pieces somewhere. We'll eventually get there, guys. I'll try to put them all in these baskets without them falling out. So previously I did a dinosaur basket and I ran into this while I was shopping and I wanted to add that in there because I thought that was too cute. It is a projector light that will shine like a dinosaur and a volcano up on the ceiling. And so I just thought that was too cute. I wanted to add it in there. And this does take two triple a batteries not included so i bought the batteries because anything i bought that needs batteries i wanted to make sure to include those so that the kiddos can play with it right away for my art themed basket i was working on i kept looking for an easel and i was having a hard time finding them in any of the stores i finally did so i got this to add into the art basket and then i have another set of batteries because coming up there'll be something that needs batteries um, this one is for high tech devices and this one is for high drain devices and you get less like the better the batteries get on this e-circuit brand. I was looking for the four set with the high drain but I couldn't find them so the item only needed two and so I grabbed those ones. I don't think it matters. I mean I think they might be better batteries so that's a plus. 
I picked up another bin, a little locker bin, the white one, because I'm making a bunch of baskets and I needed the baskets. All right. For the Lego themed basket or building block, I wanted to get several pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna add in a Lego set. I couldn't find any at any of the discount stores I went to, but we do have some here at home that we have just like for gift giving. It's sets that my kids already had and had received again. And so we just kind of kept them on hand. We went and got them a new set, but we kept those other ones on hand to be able to give whenever um, there's like a birthday or something like that. So I'm just gonna grab from our stash, like a regular Lego brand set. But from Dollar Tree, I grabbed this. It is the Coast Guard set of people, and you get five of them in there, which is a great deal. And then I also grabbed the Superheroes set of people, and you again get five in there, a great deal. I picked up some of their little building blocks, and these are Make It City and Construction. So here's the construction one. You get a little fence, a little, I don't know, a forklift maybe. I don't know what he's supposed to be. And then like that rock thing maybe. So just a cute little set, it has 35 pieces. This one, it looks like it is a motorcycle, a stoplight, and a little like bin. I don't know what the bin is for, but anyway, that one has 28 pieces. My puppy is behind me looking out the window. Oh, for the wood shop one, here's the other one. It is a sailboat and also five and up. It's got the cute little sailboat. So we, I make, I got this one year for Eric for something and Eric put it together and he likes pirate ships and all that stuff. And so him and his dad put a little like skull and crossbones with tape that they cut out on here and then spray painted the sails black. And then I don't know if they kept it wood or not, but they made it look like a little pirate ship. It was really cute the way they turned this sailboat into something that would make, made him really happy. It sits on top of his dresser now. Um, for the cars basket, I picked up a few Hot Wheels. I got this one. It is one of the Batman. It says it's the Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Two of five. So apparently there's five in the Batman set. I just thought it looked fast to go on the tracks, so I grabbed that one. This one is the Hot Wheels Speed Team. Also, it says Fast Fish. I don't know where that's coming from, if that's just the name. Sometimes when they say, like, fish, it means, like, it looks like a fish or something, but that just must be the name of that particular car. And then this one is a Mercedes-Benz A-Class. I used to have a Honda Civic Si, and it was blue like this. It was only a two-door, though, and it reminded me of that. So that's what, probably what made me grab it. I mean, I know this is a Mercedes. Mine was a Honda, but it, it steered me that way. Here is some more of the track. This one is a ramp, and so there'll be a little ramp piece in there. And then uh, put the other pieces in there. Um, for the little doll set, I picked up this little cutie. She's got the little poof buns on the top of her head and the strawberry dress. So I thought that one was really cute. For the art basket, I wanted to add a few more things. I didn't feel like, like it was quite full enough. And so I'm putting canvases and stuff in there. I thought that maybe this would be really cute if someone's like artistic with markers. And so these are the metallic markers. The colors they had there were the blue, like the rose gold and the gold. So I'm gonna add those in to the art basket because, you know, art comes in more than just paint. So then that way someone has an option to draw as well. Empty bag. All right, so this has some of the other items. This I picked up. These squishies were new to me. I think I got one more somewhere. They have the smell to them, so it kind of smells like a cupcake. So they're little cupcake squishies, and they were too cute. So I'm going to add this into the like little cooking imaginary play basket that I've already been putting together because it was too cute. I had to pick it up. I couldn't pass it up. And so that one was really cute. Like I said, I think there's another one, but everything got kind of all mixed up on the, the belt. 
Um, I'm doing like a dress up imaginary play basket and so I picked up this wand. It's the star wand. It's got the cute little gems on each of the I don't know, peaks of the star, corners of the star, and the pink bow. I did pick up another wand and it was different so that they had options. Now one of the other baskets I'm doing is outside play. And I did one, an outside play one already, but this one I went more for like a water sand theme. So it's gonna be more like playing outside in the water or the sand. And look how cute this little ducky watering can is. So it is says it's an animal watering can. It's a little ducky. They had other ones, I can't remember what they were cause I saw the duck and I was like, yep, that's it. This is kind of what led me to this theme. So, so cute. It's got like the little holes in the mouth so it can pour the water out. I, I just love that. I thought it was so cute. Then this are sand toys. So these are just little molds for the sand. There's a lobster. That looks like a, oh, it's a stingray. It looks like a mushroom a little bit, but it's a stingray. Octopus, dolphin, a fish. And then there's just more, a seahorse. So all kinds of different, it's 10 pieces, 10 little molds for the sand. So I thought that that could be really cute in a little outside play themed basket. Let's see. All right, so for the dollhouse basket, I got the other shaped dollhouse. I've bought these in the past, but I used them to make little gingerbread houses. I think it was the other style. But I did gingerbread houses and painted them like looking like gingerbread houses. And I've seen where you can change them into um, like haunted houses for um, Halloween. But I'm just going to give them as is. These say they're for ages three and up. You just want to make sure your three-year-old doesn't like small pieces because these little guys are are pretty small and so I got that also for that one I picked up the little pets this one is the cats so there are four little kitty cats in there in their own little house so we got the doll house and the animal house going on for this basket for the art basket I decided to grab this it is a pencil and brush organizer these have gone around forever, but I thought that that would be nice in that basket to hold, you know, the paint brushes or anything if it's, you know, like someone who's kind of an artist. I found some new bunnies. These were the, I needed three more little stuffies and these guys, I just about died. They're so cute. So they're little, just, just bunnies. He's got the kind of bluish mint teal color in his ears. And so I got two of those ones. Oh, they're so cute. And then there was the little white one, and that one has pink in her little ears. There was a light brown. It looked more like a puppy to me because the color, it was like a fawn light brown color. And then I saw out of the corner of my eye, I didn't really look at it, like a dark brown color. And that one reminded me of a chocolate bunny, so it was cute. But that was at the second store, and I had already picked these ones up. So I probably would have got a dark brown if I would have seen it the first time but I like those ones that I picked. I think they're really cute. I got another thing of green grass for the baskets. Here's the other cupcake. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? So it has like a little strawberry top and then the liner, the cupcake liner. Like how cute is that? And it does smell. They have like the scents in them and they just are squishy cupcakes. So had to get that to add in to some of those little baskets. For the building block basket, I did grab the box. So it's got four assorted colors. It tells you each of the different sizes. A hundred pieces compatible with all leading brands, it says. So that's why I figure it's okay to add in and then do like a Lego set. So that way they'll be able to play Legos. I got this bin to do one of the baskets in. So this one's a little bit different than the white one. The white one is longer and less wide. And then this one's like more square, more rectangle, more square. Oops, but I'll make them both work for whatever, you know, whatever I decide to fill in there. All right, let's do one more bag and then I will do the rest on part two because like I said, I got a lot of stuff. So for the little doll houses, or the doll set, I picked these up. This comes with a little TV, a couch, a lamp, and a little doll. 
nice. Well, she won't like fit in the house, but just a cute little set there. And then this one also comes with the little doll and the bed, the nightstand and another TV. So we got like a living room and a bedroom. Afterwards at the second store I seen where they had like a kitchen table, like a little dining room table. And I would have grabbed that one instead of one of these, but I already grabbed both of those. <clears throat> I grabbed some ribbon because I'll need to tie the um, cellophane on them. And so I wanted cute ribbon to tie it with. And so all three of these I really liked. This one, this is the Off Offre brand, so like a name brand. And you get nine feet, you get nine feet on all three of them. But it's the little Easter eggs. And I thought that that would be cute to tie the little bows on the top. This one says Happy Easter and has some Easter eggs on it. And then this one says Bunny Crossing. So bunny crossing and then a couple little bunnies on there with a little sign. Make sure the glare's not catching. So I got those to tie the tops. I picked up just some toothbrushes because I'm trying to add toothbrushes into at least all the ones for the littles because I like to do toothbrushes for holidays. I always do it in my house so I figured why not. So I picked up another Hot Wheels toothbrush since I'm doing another Cars themed basket. And then two Shopkins toothbrushes. So the toothbrushes are the same, but the little caps are different. And so I'll add those into whichever the ones don't have toothbrushes that kind of fit that age group that would use those toothbrushes. I picked up another cute little doll. She's got crazy hair coming out. Um, to add to the doll basket, I like her little dress with the stars on it, her cute little ponytail. So I grabbed her. For that doll basket, I picked up some Barbie items just to add in there because they are too darn cute. And so we have the Chelsea backpack. I got these. They're going to go in Lorelai's Easter basket. I got all three sets for her. She got a Chelsea for Christmas, actually. And then previous hauls. And then I picked up this cute little princess tea party set. Because she, like, whoever plays with these, they can play with all these little dolls and use these little pieces with them. They had these. So this was just on the regular aisle, but I'm pretty sure it rang up $3. I wasn't paying close enough attention. So this contains one doll and four accessories. But it is color reveal, water reveal, it says. So I'm not exactly sure how this works. But it has five surprises inside. And so I thought that that would be a fun addition to that basket. For the outside play one, I grabbed, like I said, it's kind of leaning towards water toys. So I grabbed this little inner tube and this beach ball to add into that one. And then last in this bag, and then I will do the rest in the next haul part two. I also picked up some chalk and I like the little holder on it. it. can make like a rainbow or something. So sidewalk chalk with holder. And so guys, that is the first half of my haul to finish out these Easter baskets. I hope you're getting some Easter basket filler ideas. You know, you don't have to just stick it in the Easter aisle when you do Easter baskets. What I like to do, like if you've noticed, supplement with some Easter eggs, one like big Easter candy and like the little plush. And then that way, like it shows that it's Easter, but you don't have to use a regular Easter basket. You can use a bin that can be used year round and toys that are just like regular toys that kiddos are going to play with, not super Easter themed that only get, you know, a little bit of use and then gets pushed to the side. So that is some of my thoughts on Easter, which is why I have all these different themed items. So stick around, wait until you see part two come out, then I'm gonna finish out these hauls literally today. So disclaimer, today is Tuesday. You'll probably see this Wednesday, I'm assuming. And then you'll see part two, whatever day I upload that. And then you're gonna see the baskets because they're due Thursday, today's Tuesday. My goal is to get them done tonight so that we can get them because they're due by noon on Thursday. So. 
I'm pretty much out of time. So I got to get all the rest of this shared with you. You're going to see me in the same outfit. I'm not changing. Sometimes I change to try to trick you guys, but no, we're just going straight through. So I will see you in the next video. It is coming up very soon. It'll be part two. Thank you so much for being here. Again, don't forget to go check out Jay. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.